Hey everybody, a large part of the uncomfortable feeling we get with oppressive heat in the summer, especially here in the east or in the Midwest, has to do with high humidity levels. Air conditioners make our living environment more comfortable in part by reducing the humidity in our environment along with cooling. And you'll notice when you're in an air conditioned environment, the air feels drier. Well, that's because it's taking water out of the air. Now on a window unit um, AC, like I've done in previous videos here, they take out about two pints an hour. However, a dehumidifier will take out considerably more moisture out of the air. However, a dehumidifier, in my opinion, has a draw, um, one major drawback in that it does not cool the environment. Actually, it heats up your environment. So that's something to consider if you're weighing getting an AC unit or a dehumidifier. A dehumidifier is best for the basement where you have a moisture problem, but you're, you don't necessarily need to cool your environment. Now looking at something like this, here's a Frigidaire dedicated dehumidifier and it's portable, rolls on wheels, very convenient in that way. It's got a 25 pint capacity. Throughout the course of a day, this thing will remove about two gallons of water. That's a considerable amount of water. A dehumidifier has a basin where the water collects and you're going to want to drain that as the water fills up. You also want to check for any mold or mildew that may be developing in there and, and if there is, um, get a scrub brush and a little bleach and put that in there and make sure there's no mold in your living environment. A very important aspect of a dehumidifier, much like your air conditioner, is the filter. And you can see that this filter has a lot of junk on it. And what you want to do, you want to clean this. And this filter on here is a very uh, fine micron mesh filter. Now what you want to do is you want to rinse that off and that'll get that ultra fine particles out of the filter. All right, then we replace our filter, making sure to put the front We'll say front right there, make sure you're seating it the right way. Replace your water basin. And turn it on. Refer to your manual, but this has a timer, low or high fan speed, as well as setting your humidity levels. The relative humidity is say 80%. Set it for 80%. The filter's clean, so that's doing its job. Kind of medium sized unit will dry out a, a fair sized room. I'm in a room right here that's about 200 square feet. No problem with this bad boy. An added feature with these portable units is that there's a drain hole there that you can connect um, tubing and run that either into a sump pump or run it right out of doors. So that makes this unit very convenient. If you don't want to use the basin to collect the water, you can drain it out to um, whatever drainage source you may have available. So if you're a budget shopper looking for an all-in-one solution to cool, both cool and dehumidify your environment, I would just stick with an AC unit because you're really getting um, you're really getting a good bang for your buck as far as dehumidifying and cooling your environment. However, if you're in a very damp location or more importantly a basement, then you want to go with a dehumidifier. Stay cool, stay dry.